Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Mercedes. In today's video, I have an exciting collection from by Danny Viana to share with you all. Show you a place where you go on a move your feet. I have their Wicked collection to share with you guys today. It is a very large and in charge collection. This collection took a very long time for Danny the Maker to create. It took about a year, so it's been a year in the making. She saw the Wicked performance in Brazil and she knew immediately with the movie coming out and everything that she wanted to create this collection. She usually tends to shy away from like bigger collections because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but she couldn't help herself and she got carried away. And I cannot wait to show you these polishes. They are beautiful. So let's get right into it. First up, we have Galinda. And I'm sorry if I sound a little bit nasally. My allergies are kicking my butt today. Um, this one is inspired by Galinda's wardrobe. Um, this is a sheer purple jelly base with a strong pink to gold aurora shimmer. Now we can see on the first coat it is a little bit on the sheer end. On the second coat we're building up that pink to gold aurora shimmer. I did go in for three coats and I'm going to recommend three coats for long and short nails. My longer nail friends you may still see some nail line because this is a true jelly base but honestly you're going to be paying attention more to the middle of your nail or just all throughout because of that strong glow that we're getting. I love the, the, the depth that we see here. I love the dark purple shifts that we're getting. The pink glow from that Aurora Shimmer is so beautiful. It is definitely the focus of this nail polish. Um, typically, I don't like lighter shades, but this one has such a stunning glow from that Aurora Shimmer that I can definitely see myself wearing this as a full manicure at some point in the near future. Even as a pedicure too. Um, and I love the squishy vibes that we're getting. Pictured are three coats of Galinda with a glossy top coat. Here we have Verdigris, and this one is a Verdigris Crowley base with a pinch of green Aurora shimmer. Now, this one is not, I feel like this one was more Crowley like than the first polish that we saw, but definitely more on the creamier side. You can see on the first coat, it went on a little bit sheer, but on that second coat, I was able to achieve full opacity. I love these shades of green this color family of green like that kelly sort of clover green i love it on my nails i love how it looks on me and the shimmer we don't lose that shimmer now it's similar tone to our base but we're still able to see the sparkles glowing from within they're very finely milled and nicely sandwiched between the layers but we don't lose any of the sparkle um I think this was absolutely beautiful. This is something uh, we can wear now in the colder months and then of course into the spring and summertime. Long or short nails, I'm going to recommend two to three depending on how you polish. But pictured are two coats of verdigris with a glossy top coat. This one is called Flying Monkeys and this one's inspired by the very first spell that Elphaba had casted. This is a sheer smoky base with a blue aurora shimmer and a mix of blue metallic shreds, blue iridescent flakes, and black flakies. I love how all of these polishes we get something a little bit different. Um, so this entire collection is filled with lots of gorgeous different polishes. There's something for everybody. This one would have topper capability for sure unfortunately i didn't show that off to you guys um, but you can definitely see that it builds up beautifully on its own and it would work wonderfully if you just did you know if you did one coat over a darker or a lighter color i actually enjoyed it on its own um, i think long or short nails three coats is going to work best for everybody i love how we are seeing those beautiful flakies all throughout the nail we get a mixture of different colors right we see a lighter turquoise blue, we see a royal blue, um, we're getting squishy jelly vibes because of the more clearer, more smoky sort of base. And then the blue aurora shimmer is just creating this magical look on the nails. Pictured are three coats of flying monkeys with a glossy top coat. 
Here we have Glinda the Good, and this is inspired by Glinda's new name. It has a peachy, corally, crelly base with blue aurora shimmer. I feel like anything that has a blue aurora shimmer or any sort of electric blue shimmer is always going to look so amazing. Now, for this polish being on the lighter end, the formulation was so, so good. You can see I built it up in two coats. I'm going to recommend two to three coats for everybody, but look at that intense blue shimmer that we're seeing it is so electric and it makes for a great contrast against this against this lighter shade this is a beautiful neutral nude palette cleanser whatever you want to call it i absolutely enjoyed this one on my nails and i don't really like well i don't i shouldn't say i don't really i'm not big into neutral shades um but I always say you throw something fun in there and it's definitely going to catch my eye. And this one definitely caught my eye. I want to put this one aside. And when I have some sort of like more formal event, then I'm definitely going to be wearing this one. Really enjoyed it. The glow and the sparkle is just gorgeous. Pictured are two coats of Glinda the Good with a glossy top coat. Here is the Great and Terrible Oz, and this one has a green magnetic effect with gold metallic shreds and a mix of metallic and UCC flakies. So you can see here, the magnetized strip definitely gives you that green, bright green um, line throughout. On the first coat, we go on a little bit sheer, but the magnetic pull is very strong. You can see some of the flakies popping on the nail. On the second coat, we're really building up that base color. So we get this nice sort of like smoky black effect on the nails. We get even more of the metallic flakies, which are so pretty. They are these like shreds of gold flakies on the nail and it just looks so stunning against all of these different colors um, because everything just contrasts so well. Um, now I did go in with three coats and I think long or short nails, three coats will work best for you. You are going to see a little bit of a nail line, um, but honestly, I think that I think that it looks good. I think it gives an opportunity for the gold flakies, the gold shards just to peek on through it gives this nice sort of like smoky ethereal backdrop and then that green magnetic strip is just breathtaking it's definitely the star component in this polish all of these components working together just look so beautiful pictured are three coats of the great and terrible oz with a glossy top coat Next up, we have No Good Deed Goes Unpunished, and this one is described as having an indigo base with purple reflective glitter and an emerald magnetic effect. Now, if this doesn't scream wicked to you guys, then I don't know what it is. Now, when you saw the magnet on the bottle, there wasn't a strong pull, but on the nails, you can definitely see that pull. I'm actually going to be seeing the movie this coming weekend, and I'm trying to decide which polish to wear for the movie, and I think I actually might wear this one. Um, you can see on the second coat, um, for me, I was happy with the opacity that you guys are seeing. Long or longer nails, or I'm going to say long or short nails, I'm going to say two to three coats for everybody, depending on your preference. I'm loving the dark uh, backdrop that we're seeing. The reflective glitters are so sparkly, and that is why I love reflective glitter so much, because no matter what type of lighting you're in, you're going to get that beautiful sparkle. I'm a big fan of a big fan of glitters. The green magnetic pull is very strong. You can see it just glimmering and glowing from within. I love how we have the contrasting effect. I'm a big fan of contrasting colors in a polish or contrasting components in a polish. I just think that it just looks so good. Um, but really enjoyed this one, and this one might be my my movie Manny. Pictured are two coats of No Good Deed Goes Unpunished with the glossy top coat. Here we have I'm Not That Girl. And this one is described as a pink, as having a pink magnetic effect with pink reflective glitters. And then it also has a green glow in the dark effect. You can see on that first coat, we go on a little bit sheer, but we're already seeing the magnetic pull. It's a very cool pink. 
um, and it leans a little bit more silver in my eyes anyways. You can see it, it does dry down really textured because of the reflective glitters. Um, any of these polishes that have reflective glitter, just keep that in mind. It is going to dry down very textured. You're going to want to use a glitter smoother and then your glossy top coat over it. I was pleasantly surprised with this polish. It built up gloriously in two coats for being such a lighter color. I'm still going to recommend two to three coats for everybody. And I love how this is not a like, typical pink. Um, it leans towards like this grungier beige sort of base. Um, and then those pink reflective glitters in here just add the warmth and the just like fun back into this polish. The magnetic strip, like I said, to me it's like a pink silverish sort of tone and very cool. Um, and I don't know, I really enjoyed this one. It's just something a little bit different. It's like you're neutral with a spin, and I really enjoyed it. Fortunately, I don't have a glow-in-the-dark photo for you guys, but just know that it does glow-in-the-dark green. Pictured our two coats of I'm Not That Girl with a glossy top coat. Here we have Defying Gravity, and this one is described as, a, as having a mix of pink aurora shimmer with a green magnetic effect. You can see here immediately the base turns dark and then we get that green strip so on the first coat we go on a little bit sheer but we're already seeing the magnetic pull and we're getting the contrasting effect of course which i absolutely love um, if you leave your magnet on a little bit longer your magnetic pulls for these polishes will be more intense but you can see on the second coat you see how the magnet just pulls in right and we get the green strip but then it adds in some of that warmth and it gives us a little bit of pink too. You can see here, like, you see how it pulls in the green and it also like, gives way for us to see this lighter pink um, component as well. Like, look at this. How pretty is this? It is like a deep base, but then you have glimpses of this beautiful pink shade and then we get this sort of like lime light green magnetic pull it's very interesting i love the mixture of all of the components it has this like antique vibe but still a very girly fun sort of polish also really enjoyed this one pictured are three coats of defying gravity with the glossy top coat here we have something bad and this one is described as a green aurora shimmer it has purple uc and it has a purple ucc magnetic effect this one was so much fun guys look at that magnetic line it is intense it is glowy and it is in charge absolutely love it love how we have these olive undertones so you can see with that shimmer right I built it up in three coats so here it is on the third coat i'm going to recommend um, three coats for long or short nails but i love this one guys i love that indigo violet really intense purple magnetic strip and then i love the prugly base that we're getting look at how unique and different this one is this one is so beautiful this is going to be like your perfect um fall mani your perfect halloween mani your perfect winter mani if you want something a little more like grungier it has all of this glorious sparkle to it i think a lot of people if you love pruglies anyways are is i think you're really going to enjoy this one pictured are three coats of something bad with a glossy top coat here we have green elixir and this one is a neon uh, jelly base with green aurora shimmer and silver magnetic pigment i know we have a lot of magnetic polishes in this collection um i'm usually not like the number one fan of magnetic polishes but there's certain ones that just always catch my eye um, and there's a lot of those in this collection just because of the components and you know the contrasting effect that we're getting this one was such an interesting polish just the formula was definitely you know creamy this green is just such a different green it's like in between that like kelly green slash neon and just look at that glow can we can we just appreciate that like, wow that magnetic strip 
stunning. Now I know it says it's silver, but I definitely see glimpses of beige and it could just be because we're mixing in with all of the other components, right? Um, the, the shimmer that we're getting, because it's Aurora shimmer, it just runs all throughout the nail and it gives us such a vibrant glow really enjoyed this one i feel like the name is just spot on it definitely reminds me of some sort of elixir so beautiful i'm going to recommend two to three coats for everybody pictured are two coats of green elixir with a glossy top coat here we have nessa and this is a mix of silver reflective and silver holographic glitters and this was inspired by nessa's shoes and of course i was going to enjoy this one just because of the glitter you know i love anything sparkly this one is like a true glitter bomb. Um, we can see all of the glorious rainbows on the nails. On that second coat, we are building up to pretty good coverage here. I did decide to go in for a third coat very quickly, very thin, just to sort of fill in any gaps. And I got this wonderful finish on the nails. Now, using this as a topper, I think you could. Um, just like one thin coat over something, but it is glorious on its own. Maybe this might be my movie mani. I don't know, guys. Look at this. Now, if this doesn't scream sparkly shoes, like, come on. You definitely want to use a glitter smoother and then a glossy top coat over it because it is going to leave a lot of texture. But I'm loving the sparkle. I'm loving the rainbows. It just looks so surreal on the nails. Pictured our three coats of Nessa with a glossy top coat. Here we have a couldn't be happier and this one is described as a beige curly face with copper aurora shimmer and silver reflective glitter so another glorious neutral shade this is reminding me of a sort of like a champagne color i feel like this would be so pretty for new year's eve or new year's day manny you can still see even though it is a lighter sort of polish it definitely is very creamy and it built up wonderfully in two coats oh there's a child calling me <laughs> but anyways we can see the beautiful silver reflective glitter running all throughout the nail i thoroughly enjoyed the formulation of this polish i thought it was going to be more on the squishier side where like you know you had to build it up in three coats um but it was a real wonder to work with Think, again this is going to be another one people are going to fall in love with just because of the formulation and the color and just the sparkle that it has pictured our two coats of couldn't be happier with a glossy top coat here we have wonderful and this one is described as having an emerald base with green to teal roar shimmer and a mix of silver and green reflective glitters if you love green and you love blues you're really going to enjoy this one especially if you love sparkly glittery things the first coat we can see we go on a little bit sheer but we already see the beautiful shimmer and glitter building up on that second coat we're seeing that teal base peeking through and even more glow i did have a few bald patches so i wanted to go in for a third coat i'm going to recommend three coats for everybody and this is the final look on the nail how beautiful is this guys i love how we're getting so much glitter in so many different types of shades i feel like there's definitely something in here for everybody i love the the green reflective glitters sometimes with reflective glitters um like the colored ones i feel like it's can be kind of hard to really tell the actual color of the reflective glitter when it's outside of the bottle but i'm definitely seeing green here and i appreciate that very much because what i'm reading to you guys is what we're seeing on the nails but this one is um to me anyways an all-year-round polish something to wear now in the winter and then something to wear in the summer too pictured our three coats of wonderful with a glossy top coat next up we have elfie and this one is a green this one is described as having green aurora shimmer with a light green reflective glitter this one you can wear on its own which i'm going to show you or you can wear it as a topper because you can see in that one coat it is pretty sheer I'm not showing it off as a topper i'm showing it off as a full mani so on the second coat we are really building up that base color we can see the sort of like lighter effect of like this yellow mustard shade with definitely some green olive undertones um, longer short nails i'm going to recommend three coats if you want to build it up on its own 
but look how pretty this is we get a beautiful like beige to light pink shift we see yellow and gold and the shimmer is just so so pretty the light green reflective glitter just peeks its way through and it gives us a nice finish with everything else that we're seeing in this polish pictured are three coats of elfie with the glossy top coats here we have black is this year's pink and this one is described as a black jelly base with pink reflective glitter and uv activated pink glow in the dark effect and just a note that we got in the pr information is that because this polish has a dark base it requires a bigger quantity of that glow in the dark pigment so there might be a little bit of separation so you might see the pigment on the bottom so just pull your you know throw your bottle upside down that's what i did and i was able to get the finish that you guys are seeing here look at this guys how pretty is that dark base and then that pink reflective glitter it is like a like a beautiful girly feminine night sky look at that gloss at the juiciness now we definitely see the darkness um, of the polish obviously it is a black jelly base but we get glimpses from far away of the pink reflective glitter and then at certain angles we really see that pink and then here it is glowing in the dark it is so so fun definitely really enjoyed this one picture our two coats of black is this year's pink with a glossy top coat here we have out of the goodness of my heart and this one is described as having pink aurora shimmer pink reflective glitter and a glow in the dark effect a pink glow in the dark effect so you guys will see that here but on the first coat we go on very squishy very crelly jelly like um, on the second coat we build up the beautiful beautiful pink shade it is like a ballerina pink i did go in for three coats just because i wanted a more full coverage look i'm going to recommend three coats for everybody the pink aurora shimmer and the pink reflective glitter in here just make this such a magical polish now i did capture some of it in the sun because i was a dum-dum and i was like oh i thought this was like uv reactive when it's really you know going the dark pigment but i'm glad that i did and i want to show you guys because it is just so beautiful in the sun these polishes have definitely stolen my heart it has made it has made me think do i really do i like neutral colors maybe i do but here it is in the sun how pretty is that it gives your nails such a beautiful flush of color your your hands look like super polished and neat and clean and then we just get glimpses of that glowy pink glitter and the pink shimmer all of that it is just stunning we are looking at three coats of out of the goodness of my heart with the glossy top coat and here it is glowing in the dark pink so so pretty all right and i have a gift with purchase for black friday this is emerald city and this one has a mix of emerald metallic glitters and teal to emerald aurora shimmer now the gift with polish the gift with polish the gift with purchase which is this one um, if you purchase a 30 dollars or more you will receive this polish for black friday the entire shop um, will be ranging in discounts between 10 to 70 percent the sale occurs between black friday and cyber monday um sorry if you guys hear the beeping in the background my kids are going in and out of the house and the alarm just goes on and off but how beautiful is this polish i love that it's another sort of flaky glitter bomb um look at the shimmer and the glimmer oh my god everything is just dancing this one definitely has topper capability i am a big fan of green polishes um, and this one is just doing my heart justice for sure here we have three coats of emerald city with a glossy top coat all right everybody i do have a few standouts they these polishes were stunning absolutely gorgeous i cannot say you know any more good things about how perfect the formula the brushes everything was um, really impressed so if you decide to purchase anything i'm sure you're going to love the polishes that you get in hand but let me pick some for you guys first one being couldn't be happier and the ones i'm going to pick are probably going to shock you because they definitely shocked me um, you all know i love bold and bright or very dark and vampy or like Prugly, which I guess can sort of fall in like the vampier sort of category but the favorites that I've chosen are completely different from those <laughs> with this one being that um, I just love 
the sparkliness i love the slight tints of not tints but the shifts that we're getting um, the reflective glitter you know i love reflective glitter just everything about this just screams just classic and clean and just beautiful on the nails this one is called Nessa and I don't think this is a surprise to anybody because I love glitter and sparkliness and this was just beautiful. I have Elfie. Oh my gosh, guys, this is stunning. The ships are gorgeous. I feel like this falls in sort of like the Prugly category. It's not an ugly polish, obviously, but it has that beautiful green shift and I don't know I definitely get prugly vibes but look at this it is glowing it is glowing this is beautiful and I can't wear it to wear it I can't wait to wear it as a full mani this one again another one that took me by surprise um, I love the squishy plump juicy look that I got with this and this green is just so interesting it's almost like a jade stone sort of green which I still feel like is very appropriate for the fall and winter if you want to like add something a little bit more light and airy I don't know I just I was really intrigued by this polish and I really liked the formula and how it looked on my nails no good does no good deed does unpunished um, I mean come on can we look at this you can see it just reflecting like immediately I love the boldness of the shade I feel like this is definitely winter appropriate the sparkle the shifts loved it and then the last one of course is a blue this is flying monkeys I uh, had to pick a flaky polish just because I had to um, love the formulation for this. I love the slight shifts that we're getting. It still has this little twinkle to it, which I very much appreciated. Really enjoyed this one. This is like a January polish, right? For me, blue in January just makes sense. All right, everybody, that is all that I have for you today. Let me know if you plan on picking up any of these polishes. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.